Welcome to Family Basics 101. I'm Dr. Bruce McClure, and as we began a five-part series entitled, Let Freedom Reign, five components of freedom that we will discuss. First, let freedom reign in your spirit. Secondly, let freedom reign in your home. Third, let freedom reign in your children. Fourth, let freedom reign in your stewardship. And then finally, let freedom reign inside of you. When we talk about freedom and allowing freedom to reign in your spirit, let's first define freedom. Freedom means simply to set at liberty, to move away from dominance. Freedom means one who ceases to be a slave or under authority, yet with the clarity that there is always authority throughout life, and there will always be a form of captivity. And regardless of the authority or regardless of the captivity, inside a person's spirit, there has to be the assurance of freedom. Emotional Freedom third Therapy, called EFT, has a long history in mental healing of individuals that have been impacted by the traumas of war, high anxiety of fears, and certain addictions such as gambling, sex, and other type of addictions. But the primary belief is that stored within a person's physiological self are both the emotions as well as the memories that are attached to those emotions. According to Dr. Candace Peet at Georgetown University, these emotions and these memories are created by one's present thoughts about past experiences. So although you may be living in the present, when we talk about emotional freedom therapy, emotional freedom therapy is designed to help a person become more liberated from the past memories and the past emotions that are actually manifested in their present thoughts. If the removal of these extreme negative emotions is possible, then it becomes equally possible for a person to be freed from the mental trauma, from the anxiety, as well as from the fears that impedes a truly free self. So once the self is completely freed, then the spirit is freed. And not until the spirit is free can freedom ring inside of the real individual. When we talk about let freedom ring inside one's spirit, according to Dr. Margaret Paul, emotional freedom is a person's ability to learn from and also learn to manage feelings in such a manner that the feelings do not become reactionary and control the individual. Dr. Margaret Paul further states that feelings in spirit may be considered wounded, which means they stimulate anxiety, shame, guilt, anger, fear. Now, parenthetically, primarily these are dependent on the views of self based upon a person's attitude, not only about self, but also about others' attitudes about themselves. So the wounded spirit, the feelings inside that spirit that will impede one's being free in their own selves is going to be driven by the level of anxiety from the past, the level of shame, the level of guilt, the level of anger, and the level of fear. Now, when we look at the feelings in the spirit also beside the wounded spirits, the feelings in the spirits may be considered also core spirits. So you've got the wounded spirits, 
and then you have the core spirits. But core spirit feelings can either be painful or they can be positive. Core pain spirits lets or, or allows one to recognize that others are being unloving when an environment is not safe, when our needs to take loving actions on behalf of ourselves are really important. In other words, it's almost like the old fight or flight syndrome. But the core pain spirit almost triggers something inside of an individual that I'm not being loved. This environment is not safe. And I really need to take some aversive actions to protect, to protect myself. Now, their core positive spirit, it allows one to know they are on the correct path relating to thinking as well as relating to actions. These right track indicators are feelings of inner peace, joy, love, excitement, passion, aliveliness, happiness, and fulfillment. So the difference between the core feelings in the spirit of I'm in pain and those that say I have a more positive core spirit is what really is triggered inside of a person. One, it stimulates I've got to protect myself. On the other hand, it may stimulate on a positive side, I'm okay. I'm okay with myself. I'm okay with people, I'm okay with the environment around me, and whenever there is an okayness about people, then their spirit will feel free, and then that liberty can ring out loud, and it can ring out with an assurance that all is well. Martin Luther King makes the following statement. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but it comes through continuous struggle. And so we must straighten our backs and work for our freedom. A man can't ride you unless, you're, unless your back is bent. No matter how much a person works for their freedom, they really can't earn it. Freedom is a right. Freedom is a right that is given not by man, but freedom is a right that is a mandate from heaven. In the book of John, chapter 8, verse number 36, Jesus said, And if the Son frees you, you will be truly free. So in essence, he says, no matter what liberties you may obtain in this world, let freedom ring in your spirit, because if you have been emancipated by the Father, if you've been emancipated by the Son, and you're being protected and overshadowed and guided by the Holy Spirit, if that Son of God makes you free, if the declaration of God frees you, then he says you are truly free. In other words, you are liberated and you don't need to keep on being liberated because once the sun makes you free, your spirit should always feel a love, a joy, a liveliness, an assuredness. And whenever you feel that within yourself, then it's going to ring out with a radiating roar that I am free and I'm willing to ring that message out and I'm willing to let freedom ring from inside myself. And therefore, you don't worry about where you are. You can be in prison, and still your spirit should ring out freedom. You can be starving, and you should, you should still be able to ring out freedom. Freedom, let it ring in your spirit, but allow the Son of God to first set you free. I'll see you back in class again next time. Don't be late. And don't skip class.